Okay guys, I figured now that the Comma 3 is announced, I would do a quick unboxing video. So here you can see we have the Comma 3 and it's in just a plain black box. Very stealth and conspicuous when it arrives at your door. So let's go ahead and open it up. And yeah, you can see that this is the uh, cross country edition. So it has the one terabyte SSD a little bit of extra storage and uh, it comes with this nice card that if we open up you can see here that we have the what's in the box this is all that comes in the box very clear the dev kit the USB and the two mounts and then if you haven't already owned a comma device before and don't have the harness kit which you see down here this is sold separately. You will need to buy the one for your car to connect the Comma 3 to your vehicle. And then of course here, all the information you need. Feel free to look this over. Instructions for mounting. Best way to clean the windshield and set the adhesive for 48 hours so that the mount stays. And that's pretty much it. A little bit more information here. Actually, the, the FCC, probably uh, boilerplate information here, since this device is FCC compliant. All right, so under here, we should have the Comma 3 itself. There it is. I'll grab that for you. So yeah, you can see, uh, very nice slick screen, the uh, 185 degree front facing camera and the two LEDs. And then back here you have the narrow cam, which is like 45 degrees, and then the wide angle camera. All three uh, AR0241. I believe uh, on semi ADAS sensors. So these are automotive grade uh, imaging sensors for, you know, ADAS systems. And uh, yeah, injection molded case put together very nicely. The two ports, the expansion port, and here is the OBD C port. Obviously, the mount goes here it's much more compact actually have a comma too so let's look at them together and see the comma three is a little bit smaller not as wide it's a little bit uh deeper but the mount doesn't stick out as far and then obviously you have uh you know, no plastic on the edges. So much cleaner looking screen when you're looking at it in your car. And this is OLED. It's very bright and nice. Okay. So there's the device. Uh, here's where your SIM card will be for the LTE for Comma Prime. Uh, other than that, there's no buttons on the device at all. Just the touch screen. So very clean. And uh, we'll look here at the accessories that come with it as well. So it comes with this nice microfiber case. And of course in here, we get some stickers. I'm sure while supplies last. There are the mounts, which are injection molded. Uh, more stickers and obviously the USB, which is a, a 90 degree. So it fits very flush and nice on the uh, device. And then lastly, some alcohol wipes so that you can clean your windshield really well before you do the install. And then this nice uh, microfiber bag 
which you can use as a way to, to carry your device, keep it kind of protected, avoid scratches. So if you put it in your glove box or center console or something, that's a nice case to, to put it in, keep it safe. So there you go, guys. Figured I'd just do a quick unboxing. Um, let me know if you would like me to do an install tutorial. I can do that as well. Uh, pretty basic, just like the comma two. Um, and later I will be answering a lot of the questions that people have been submitting on my community post. And uh, I'll do all that in a longer form review where I give you kind of a more in-depth look at the device, my opinion, comparisons to the comma two, and who this is for, who should buy it, who shouldn't buy it. Um, I'll try to give you a pretty fair opinion on that. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.